Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to the special episode where I am going to talk about uh, what is a possible movement of markets for the next one week. So, Dalal Street Week Ahead program. First, let us see what happened in the last few weeks. The first two weeks of September, Nifty shot up nearly 1000 points. And what happened the following two weeks? Nifty fell nearly 900 points. So, that was the story of September. Then, in the month of October, the first week, Nifty has recovered and close to 19,700 which is the midpoint between 19,200 and 20,200. Okay. Uh, what we can call it as an equilibrium point or what popularly people talk you know as a mean reversion. So, from 19,200 to 20,200, from 20,200 to 19,300, now from 19,300 to about 19,700, 650 precisely, 50 percent of the fall has been retraced. Now, it is a very, very important to know, you know, whether the markets are going to move higher from now or lower from now. So, that nobody knows, but we can talk about the probability. So, this is about the last few weeks picture. And on Friday, what happened in US, the non-farm payroll data came, which was much better than expected. And then initially the markets dipped, initially the markets fell more than 1 percent and then from that low level the huge short covering has happened. If you look at the Nasdaq 100, it fell 200 points, then from there it shot up uh, nearly 450 points. So, that was a swing of almost 5 percent. You know a market can swing 5 percent in just one day. So, that is the kind of volatility US markets. India VIX is closer to 10, US VIX is closer to 20, it is almost double. Gift Nifty indicating more than 100 point gap up on Monday. Why? Because the US market shorter. But this is the picture as of Friday night. On Saturday morning, what has happened? So, everyone knows this uh, Israel-Palestine conflict is uh, getting into a big problem. Uh, more than 5000 rockets were launched, missiles were launched from Palestine and so on. So, as a result, everybody in Twitter, they are asking me, so what is going to be its impact? And you may remember, actually the war is going on between Russia and Ukraine. And only that you know, you know, there was not a full scale war, but a kind of war was already going on between two European countries. So, you go to Google and search, you will know which country is there. But that has not affected market sentiment anywhere in the world. So, same way, this Israel-Palestine conflict is also not likely to affect the markets except for some initial uh, knee jerk reaction that to a little bit and you know any kind of war you know people are expecting 2 to 3 percent gap down or that is not going to happen. So, right now I check the US futures they are down but very very little but anyway that has to go down that is because you know what happened on Friday it was just purely because of short covering. When jobs data comes so good, that means the expectation of inflation has to be higher and naturally the market has to fall. But that fall was already factored in in the US market. People have shorted the US markets heavily. So, that is why on Friday because of short covering the markets went up. So, therefore, you know Dow Jones it went from minus 300 to plus 300. But right now, you know, it is indicating about 100, 120 point gap down. So, that is, you know, uh, not even one third of what it gained on Friday. So, in all probability and tomorrow, we are not likely to open negative. We will open positive. But we may not be 
opening positive of 100 plus points as indicated by GIF Nifty on Friday night. We may open about 40, 50 point higher. And if you come to the local news, the locally things are not really very bad. So, in fact, on Friday, FIA selling has also come down. I think FAS have sold just for about only 100 crores on Friday. But however, you know, uh, sometimes you know, these FAAs are very smart. So when there is a, so much of a buying momentum, so they will let the market to go higher one or two days. So they will reduce their selling pressure. So once the market goes higher, then they may start selling. So that possibility is there. But as of Friday, so their selling pressure has come down very much. So at least for the very short term, so it is really positive but not negative. Now, just only two or three days, then after that, you know, corporate results. The TCS is starting uh, the result season on Wednesday and then uh, Infosys, HCL Technology. So these are the three key stocks that are set to declare results coming week. And even on Friday in US markets, the Infosys was higher. And not only that, after our market closed, the TCS has come out with a statement that they may consider share buyback. So remember, last few times they did buy shares at a very high price. I think last time they bought the uh, shares at 4000 plus. So definitely this will give a positive sentiment to TCS and hence the entire IT industry. And moreover, Though nowadays uh, IT stocks decoupled from Nasdaq 100, but Nasdaq 100 was higher significantly on Friday. So that is definitely will have some positive impact here in IT stocks. And moreover, IT stocks are uh, slightly oversold in the longer term perspective, expecting bad results, especially after the uh, Accenture results. So IT stocks sold off further. So those so there may be some kind of a short covering in IT stocks if the market sentiment is good in the first three trading sessions of the next week. So uh, result season is going to be uh, very, very important. On Saturday, HDFC Bank will be coming out with results, but that is Saturday. So the markets will close by Friday. So HDFC Bank's impact will be seen in the following week only. In addition to this, if you are looking for some economic data, uh, consumer price inflation data in India on Thursday, consumer price inflation data in US on Thursday. So they both will be watched very keenly. And also uh, US Fed meeting minutes that will be released on Wednesday night. So other than that, you know, uh, there are not many uh, economic news. So now usually the month where the corporate results are coming, the markets can go all over the places, I can tell you. So if TCS result is good, the people will assume that entire IT companies will declare good results, market will go higher. The next day if Infosys come out with a bad result, and then equally it will fall. You know, so, you know, this is what happened in the last uh, uh, quarter, if I'm not wrong. So markets will be too volatile, right? Moreover, if you are looking at uh, the picture, open interest and other things, uh, 19,200 should be the support. And because Nifty went to 19,551, the swing low. So therefore, you know, you have to take that as a support. So maybe 19,250, 19,200 is the good support. But the resistance, now markets recent high is 20,200, from there it came down to 19,300 or 19,250 and now it has recovered right? and almost 50% recovery has happened. So if the momentum continues, so there is a possibility of 100% recovery. So therefore, you know, uh, because of you know, it all depends upon the corporate results, how good 
are they going to be or how bad they are going to be so therefore no one can be safe uh, if we say nifty resistance is at 20200 which is the recent swing high so uh, from september series till now the low was 19200 the high was 20200 so therefore 19200 to 20200 should be the range uh, for at least next 3 weeks so markets can be volatile and it will be volatile it will be too volatile and especially during the uh, corporate results season so we will see what is going to happen but however and one thing remember people are still thinking that october series will end positive that's because out of the last 10 years 9 years nifty gave a positive return so that is why although recently nifty went to 19300 people are still selling 19500 put option even the people who sold 19500 put option they are still holding it and they are not uh, scared they are not booking the losses so maybe for the very short term so we can say 19500 to 20000 but we need to see if there is any further escalation in israel palestine conflict you know how the world markets are going to react for this i think tomorrow few of the asian markets are closed so therefore you know the reaction may not be uh, very big tomorrow so that is my opinion so let us hope 19500 is held on this week uh, that's what the bulls are hoping and the, they have sold 19500 put option heavily so resistance will be naturally around figure 20000 so in the short term but if there is any uh just like uh, nasdaq 100 has seen a huge short covering so if there is any huge short covering in it stocks you know things can be different but one more important thing the last whole week if there is one stock that has not done anything so that is reliance industries almost every day it was closing flat so there must be some meaningful short covering in reliance industries and it stocks for the nifty to go Uh, beyond 20000 so that is a thinking right now so let us see what is going to happen tomorrow i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching